is Kelly from House of Virgo. I'm going to do your reading for the week of February 26th through March 3rd. If you would like to get a personal reading, there is a link in the description box below this video. Um, I do offer, I'm offering text message readings now. Um, also, you can become a member of my channel, $2.99 per month. And uh, yeah, let's get into your reading and see what messages are showing up for the week. One second here. And welcome to all of the new members. Okay, Virgo. So you're starting with the snake, competition, enemy, clever. Looking over your shoulder, the other woman. Mm. Or the other guy. Let's see. Okay. Huh. Heartbroken and twin flame. Okay. So. Hmm. Interesting, Virgo. Breaking up from someone who is a real shit stain. <laughs> um, someone maybe you think or saw it was your twin flame. Um, there may be a third party involved in this situation. And um, let's see. Let's take a look here. Grieving, mourning, the loss of a relationship. Okay, so it looks like someone is communicating with another person. Either you are telling someone you're not interested in a relationship are you not interested in someone that's sneaky and lying and deceptive? Yeah. Okay. Virgo, you know, I feel like this person, maybe it's a karmic twin. There's something about you, and we'll figure out who it is as we keep going, but there's something about you and another person that... There, there's a, there's definitely a familiarity between you, you and this person. Um, or there was some kind of union or something. Maybe you thought they were your twin flame, or you call them your twin flame. Um, I feel like Virgo, this week you're telling someone, you know, like very, in an assertive with a lot of passion, that you can't have, you can't grow and build with someone at all if they're being deceptive and they're lying and they're cheating or they're just you know coming in with that snake energy where you feel like you have to look over your shoulder all the time there's a lack of trust and boundary here okay um yeah so it looks like you're coming to a final decision this week about a particular person could be a water um Oh, well, could be a water sign. It could be, I was going to say air sign. It could be a fire sign. Yeah, it looks like you might be blocking someone or you're just blocking that energy out of your life this week. You don't want anything to do with it. You recognize, you see a snake in your life somewhere this week and you just are like, someone is malicious. So there's like, you don't want to compete with their third party kind of energy. Yeah, yeah, it looks like you don't you don't want anything to do with that and you're just standing firm. You've got boundaries up. You're making a decision. You're not communicating with this person except to tell them that they're a snake and they can go slither around in someone else's garden, perhaps. Okay. Hmm. All right, heartbroken. So the moon could be a Pisces. Let's take a look here could be an earth sign this person is hmm, definitely gonna be pretty sad about this up the, the the ending oh well too freaking bad <laughs> you know what I mean it could be an earth sign um, they're gonna be like pretty upset about it let me see why is the moon here though oh they're just saying that this person is not going to reveal their how they feel about it they might respond to you like, okay, sorry, to, sorry you feel that way, which is such a shitty thing to say to somebody, uh, you know, it's like, what the heck, sorry you feel that way. That's just indicative of someone who's really not that invested. Um, yeah, they're going to show apathy, but, but with the moon there, I feel like it goes a lot deeper than that, but they're going to show you the, the moon face, the face of the moon. You know, like, oh, it's, you know, they're not bothered by it. 
Um, hmm. You know, this person's a real shit stain. I have to tell you. Like, I feel like they'll just look at their other options and just say, okay, I'm single. This person, Virgo, if this is somebody that you're dealing with, this person was not invested. If they were sneaking around, they are not invested at all because they're having their cake and eating it too. I know this is not the greatest way to start off the week, but it feels to me like if you are kind of hemming and hawing and are on the fence about someone, you need to definitely, and you know this person's a snake or they bring doubt or there's a lack of understanding or clarity with this relationship, it's time to go. You know, it looks like it, whether it's a twin flame or not, I mean, it doesn't matter because if somebody is sneaking around or is trying to act as if there's something more than there is, they're actually an enemy of yours if they are, you know, messing around behind the scenes. Okay, so I feel like, yeah, sure, deep inside they're going to be heartbroken or sad, but it's more so about themselves because either they get caught or they can't keep doing what they're doing. Like, they can't have their cake and eat it too, Virgo. And it looks like for you, it's like, that's your energy this week. Well, you know, you're kind of like, well, if you if that's how you want to live your lifestyle, go ahead. I'm not going to stop you, but you can't, I'm not, I'm not going to be a part of it. Yeah. So that's what I kind of feel like your energy is. So your twin flame is going to be stalking you. This person's going to be stalking you um, to see if you are, it's so narcissistic to see if you are juggling others because in their mind, it, that must be the reason why you're ending it with them because they're going to accuse you in their mind they're accusing you of what they're doing like in other words could it just possibly be that virgo's like your virgo does want to be in a third party or have to compete with others but this person it's like, oh, that's not the reason. Virgo is ending or breaking up or, you know, blocking me because they're juggling others. <laughs> it's so insecure. It's like seriously so insecure. All right, let's see. <clears throat> yeah, the chariot. Oh, yeah, Virgo's trying to have something with somebody else trying to do right for themselves this person Virgo get them out of there <laughs> strike them out this person is totally not worth it. it and it could be a Libra it could be a Cancer um, Virgo Taurus Capricorn but you know what I feel like this person is not gonna like fully let you go like in other words they're gonna be keeping their eye on you they're gonna be watching you um, try to see if you're at like just to get confirmation in their own head that you know, like what they're doing is okay. In their mind, what they're doing is okay. But they're also going to be watching you to see if you're going to have someone else. That way they can just tell everything, well, tell everybody else if anybody asks. Or at least tell themselves that you left because of somebody else. When the truth seems to be that, no, Virgo looks like you're end, you end, end something this week because of sneaky behavior. Because of somebody who is not a true like not of benefit to you who doesn't have good intentions that they're clever and shifty like a like a shapeshifter could be a narcissist Virgo you could be dealing with a heavy duty narc or someone who's just really high on the narc spectrum with traits all right let me see Virgo let's take a look more at you oh good yeah you definitely get a wake-up call this week you bring down the hammer the gavel on someone here on the situation on a relationship yeah virgo's like you're you're like satan not today satan yeah virgo so i feel like uh we have capricorn and scorpio here so i feel like this week virgo you're pretty much like and i'm not saying that there was if you know that the, a person that you've been dealing with is, is actually sleeping with other people, um, fine. But if you just get a sense that they're emotional cheating or 
doing things, and this is for those of you that are in some type of relationship, like if you're completely single and you don't have anybody in your life, this might not be for you. But if there's somebody in your life that you're just kind of like, they're sketch, something's wrong, something's not right, um, they're, they're not acting like someone who is loyal and committed to only you, and they are maybe not responding to messages in a timely fashion, they're inconsistent, they're very unstable, they tend to block or deflect. If you're dealing with someone like that, like th this person might be very avoidant, come across as very avoidant, and that might not be the case at all. They could be extremely codependent, but they avoid you when they're chasing somebody else. That could be happening too, right? Maybe they're born in the year of the snake. But you get a wake-up call this this week and i feel like your wake-up call comes in the form of this person is obsessive they are like some kind of sexual deviant or they have um like they're into dark arts or dark magic of some sort um you are, are they a narc are they possessed by the devil they have addictions like you get a serious wake-up call this week which might prompt you to do all this or after you do all this like you know ah, you know the light comes out of the sky all the rays of light come out and you're like it's just a total awakening this week as far as this person and maybe even realizing yeah you did the right thing to end this connection here i just saw yeah ten of swords yeah you looks like maybe this week you just surrender to the, to this fact you know, um, because you, maybe you're on the fence, like, oh, okay, I'm so confused. There's a little cognitive dissonance. Like, this person comes across so sweet, and they see, but then they act differently. Like, this person, their actions and words don't match up. And so maybe you were a bit confused if you've been dealing with this. But it looks like this week, you're like, no, not confused anymore. This is what they are. You are what you are. They could be somebody that, like, kind of shows up like, um, a wolf in sheep's clothing you know how this is like the ram looks kind of like a ram which would be a sheep like a wolf in sheep's clothing you see them you see them for what they are this week Virgo and you set yourself free here by surrendering like psh, pick a lane you pick you pick a lane you just decide you could do better let's see if anything new coming in for you this week Virgo high priestess so this week it's like now nah, you're just kind of grieving in silence yeah you're gonna have your moments here virgo where it's like Phew. but i'm hearing they're giving me the phrase never let them see you sweat so i feel like if you are wind up grieving this loss or you're heartbroken this week um you know don't put all that on social media don't let anybody of anyone who's not worthy to know that you are um, going through it, you know, um, don't put it out there to the public. You know, you can share with people who are close to you or whomever to get through your process of letting go or feeling sad. Um, you might feel a bit of regret or remorse. You might doubt yourself. You'll have times of that in this grieving thing. But it, the message here is to just kind of keep it to yourself as far as like, don't put it out there to the world. Um, Oh, you do have the Knight of Cups. So I do feel like there will be love coming in, though. For sure. So, hmm. Now, I will say that some of you might be grieving this. It could have been someone who was like, um, I'm picking up Pisces energy. It could be somebody who, you know, comes in with that love bombing kind of thing. Maybe you kind of go through the motion of grieving the fact that you fell for it perhaps not once not twice maybe three or four or five times um going through that process as well but uh, i do feel like this heartbreak that you're going through there's 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 something nice coming in as you're as you're dealing with a three of swords energy here um somebody comes in you get some like good somebody comes in to talk to you see this card this card is always my like uh, narc card. Okay, this is someone who is like, they just they they just get off on hurting other people. Like they're very smug about it. See how he's holding the three swords there? 
You know, this is like someone who, you know, everybody just defeats everybody, sabotages everyone, just, it's just not good. And I feel like somebody comes in and you have a conversation. So there's some like loving support or, or even it could be someone romantic comes in and is kind of like, yeah, that's like, how can I say this? You sit down with a friend or you sit down with someone that, you know, or you talk to someone who's like, yeah, this is, um, that person you were dealing with is, is an abuser. But there's something here about like this Knight of Cups, this, this, something romantic occurs. Okay. Let's see. Somebody comes in and brings you the medicine, Virgo. All right. Yes. Comes in and brings you. Oh yeah. Okay, Virgo. So, you know, out with the old, in with the new, Virgo. I feel like when you have an awakening here about someone, that snake energy, that devil card, when you have an awakening here about someone, like that is the crossover. That's the contract has been signed and filled and it's done. As soon as that happens, Virgo, you make a love connection for sure. But I feel like maybe for some of you, love hasn't come in because your energy may have been put too much on another person, on this other, this sneaky energy or this perhaps false twin flame, um, or maybe you spent a lot of time, you know, ruminating about this person and just kept you closed off to making a beautiful connection with another person. I feel like the minute that judgment card pops up here when it did, I feel like once you get that, like knock on the head, like, whoa, Hello, McFly. Wake the f up. As soon as you, ha as soon as that happens, and you confirm it to yourself, and you're like, "No, I'm done. <laughs> I'm out. Later. Adios. Stay away from me. Not doing it anymore." And you just shift your energy. Then you, you, you have a connection that that starts to blossom here with another person. Could be another Earth sign. Yes, Virgo. So, all is not lost this is how i feel and i feel like it's a week for you to kind of like really just make a decision here which i see you doing okay so listen even if you're in a position of like you know sometimes people put lipstick on a pig and then they try to make it seem like it's better than it is but i feel like this is more about you choosing a lane you know and, and making a decision about what this even if you don't know what this person is like just selfish if you just are like you know what they're just selfish it's all about them and that's not something you want in your life you make that decision and agree with the decision you make that's when you can finally move on instead of staying stuck in some kind of like you know this this can be a card of stagnancy and i feel like something you may have felt or you may feel like you're stuck in something I don't know Virgo I'm telling you that somebody here is very devilish and sneaky and malicious and if you feel like you're in a relationship where you have to keep looking over your shoulder or you have to keep questioning or wondering what someone is doing or um you got to search and things like that, then that should just right there tell you that this isn't the one for you. This isn't the person you need to be wasting your time on or spending your time on. Because anyone who is truly uh, wanting to be with you and loves you and, and feels that you're for them, they won't put themselves in a position to lose you because they're, they would be so grateful and would want to stay connected to you. There, and there won't be any doubt. I mean, someone who's really there for you is gonna come forward and, and just be like, they'll start making sacrifices and things that, like you will feel like the most important person in the world. And for a long period of time, not just during a initial stages, it will just continue. Selfish people don't behave that way. And this person who's very malicious, they do things on purpose to get your, either they test you or they do things on purpose to get your goat, you know what I mean? To see how you react to something. And that's, that's 
that's not what we do when we really love someone. We just love them. It's very simple. Love is not complicated. You know, Virgo, so I kind of feel like this week is really just taking a look at a relationship that's not suiting you. And, and you know, like I say always in my readings, it doesn't have to be romantic. This could be a friend, a very close friend who's just sneaky and sneaky. Um, or a family member, whatever your situation is, you know, like I said, it, if it is romantic and it's not resonating, it's okay. It's you know, come back tomorrow. There'll be another message, but there's something here for you. Oh. <laughs> okay. This is pretty much it. You've been in denial about a twin flame connection. You've been thinking it's a twin flame perhaps because of the similarities, but you have to understand, um, snake can snakes are like that right they can come they can morph and be whatever you want whatever they think you're gonna believe do you know what i mean um you might have been in denial or you're in denial and it's time for you to detach with love to clearly see the truth about this twin flame connection because you may have felt like it was a divine counterpart per, connection for you but it's not if it comes with extreme pain or confusion and i always like to say the devil is the master of confusion. God is not. Okay. So I feel like you make a connection, though, this week with someone, a mutual. Some Okay, I love it. It's protected. You're a safe and divinely guided. Um, you will be protected this week from bad juju or bad energy. But I feel like you make a connection with someone this week who's your equal. There's a mutual understanding. You might connect with someone who's going through the same thing and is very supportive and loving towards you, whether it turns into a romantic thing or it's just a friendship. You you have like a, like a buddy. <laughs> I see like a buddy. <laughs> that is, And this person's going to be your soulmate. You know, I saw this thing um, last night. I was looking... There's, I guess it's this thing that's going around on TikTok. I, maybe it already has. I don't know. I'm, I'm always late to the party. But it was, if you match up, you can, so if there's a person in your life, right? Um, you put in your birth date, you go, it's called Moon Phase. It's a website, Moon Phase, something like that. You could look it up. I don't know if it's .com or moonphase.com com slash uk but anyway so you go to this website you put in your birth date you put in the other person's birth date and the phase that your moon both of your moons were in matches to tell you if you guys are soulmates or not it's pretty cool now look i don't know how legit it is but i don't know i just felt like i needed to tell you that because Whoever this new person is that's showing up here is a soulmate for you. I don't feel like the one, the snake, I feel like this sneaky person uh, showed up in a soulmate costume or a twin flame costume, I should say. Um, they mimicked you, but they did it on purpose to get whatever they needed to get from you. This soulmate comes unadulterated. There's no sneakiness. There's nothing with this person coming in that you'll be making a new person, that you're making a connection. The Two of Cups is new love. So there's nothing, this person comes as they are, who they are. And they're not coming in to try to trick you or anything like that. You know, I like it, I like it. So there's, this is a good news for that. <laughs> and listen, I, I, when you've been in a difficult relationship with someone that ha could have like narcissism tendencies and things like that, it's always important to, the first step is you have to remove yourself from that relationship. That's the first step, not stay in it and try to battle it because you won't win. You have to remove yourself from it and let the dust settle, gain clarity, work every day to, um, to try to just keep reminding yourself of this, whatever this situation is and that the person was just selfish. And I don't think you need to take like six years to be on your own. Um, you can form healthy relationships after this now, but it's important that you do the self care as you, you know, if you get involved with somebody else, it's important that you do the self care. Okay. Cause I feel like when someone comes in, listen, 
when someone comes in new after you've been in a, a very difficult relationship and this person comes in a completely different energy where there's unconditional love respect um, acceptance you, you're not going to get triggered do you know what I mean and I feel like you're going to be like oh this is what it should be like so you're not I, I, I don't feel like you need to keep yourself completely in hermit mode in reverse where you're isolated from love because then that that snake person really that's the message that they got over on you no get you know pick yourself up and move on to the next don't waste your time this this other person is just unavailable to give to meet your needs or give you all that you deserve and new opportunities showing up here this new love is a good thing it looks like but you know at the end of the day when you click off the reading you still need to be able to discern that but i'm telling you when it's the right person everything's going to feel right and, and for consistent consistently long time it won't just be only for a few months okay yeah so rejection is divine protection so i feel like the master the master the message here is the reason something is not working out here with this person this snake person is because it's not meant to because you're protected do you know what i mean like if this person rejected you or rejects you currently um it's actually a blessing when they're doing that you know because you are divinely protected so mastery you've learned the spiritual lesson so the lesson here virgo is you having this awakening and just realizing you know what uh if it walks like a duck talks like a duck or quacks like a duck it's a duck okay if i ever saw a duck that talked let me tell you what this channel would not exist we'd be we'd be doing new all new videos on quacking talking ducks so i feel like your message here virgo is pretty straightforward for this week you know um and i feel like the reason why it's coming out like this is because it should be first priority because when you're in a relationship with someone who has that snake energy that trickles down and affects all other areas of your life okay your your work your health um your family your peace of mind you have to deal with this first in order to have peace in your life you can't fix you can't change you can't bend over backwards for people who are pretty much in this shitty ass energy they're going to stay like that they're not going to change um and they're and you might think that you're special and you are virgo but to this person you're not and um i think it's important that you understand that and i hate to say it that way but it's a hard cold truth this person the only person that's the most important person to them is them so they're very opportunistic with the snake here they it, whatever great things you do they compete with you they're very clever and yeah could there be other people in their life other suitors yes um do they try to make it known perhaps to get you to compete testing you oh let's get away from this so chinese signs that we're starting with you or this person year of the rooster year of the goat year of the monkey i feel like okay year of the dragon Year of the ox, year of the pig. Oh, there's rooster again, double roosters. Year of the horse and year of the dog. Okay, that could be you, it could be the snake person, it could also be the new person. You'll just have to see how it fits. Okay, let's get some initials. All right. Somebody's birthday is December 14th, they just said. So that would be a Sag. Um, September 22nd, we have 1983, 1987, the initial T, someone is 51. We have the letter A, I'm hearing Tara. September 10th, someone is 46, someone is 33. Okay, the letter E, someone's name is Tay. Or someone likes tea or likes to eat. August 27th, 1980. Did I say someone is 33? 
Okay, September 3rd, someone, oh, first it was 56, then 57, so we have two different ages there. The letter F, someone's name is Faye. Um, uh, August 31st, okay, two A's. And the letter D, I just heard Darren or Daryl. All right, let's see who the new person coming in, what their zodiac sign could be. Leo, Scorpio, double Leo, and Aries. Capricorn, Sagittarius, Taurus. We had two Capricorn there. Uh, Pisces, Taurus, Aries, Pisces again. Okay. All right, let's get a couple of charms, you guys. Oh, shit, you got to be kidding. Straight off the bat. That girl is poison. Girl or guy. Okay. <laughs> Skull and crossbones. Crossbones. Yeah, you got to kill this thing. Yep, that's poison to your soul, whoever you're dealing with here. And you also have... Some of you need to like call on the Lord. Call on the Lord. Praise Jesus. Help me out. Get me through this. <laughs> Definitely. Oh, that looks actually like an alien on a cross. Okay, weird. Um, yeah, Virgo. So short to the point, not necessarily sweet, but truthful. Okay, there was one more charm that they're giving you here that I just saw. We have a dragon. So this person could be born in the year of the dragon. Or a dragon is um, significant to someone. It looks like a Chinese dragon, sort of. But I guess most dragons do. But yeah, dragon. All right, you guys. So I'm going to leave that there. I hope that you get the inspiration, the insight. I hope that you receive some confirmation here if you are dealing with a snake a rat some kind of um, sneaky behavior that you cut that off and move on if it's any consolation to you virgo you're not going to be left out in the out in the cold you're not going to be alone there's other people who support you and there will be a romantic thing developing with someone perhaps a friend or someone um that's understanding I mean like so you're not going to be alone all right keep it I'm going to keep it there with that because if that's something where you're getting uh, deciding to leave a relationship because it was too horrific the worst thing to do is like put yourself in a position to be isolated and then that's even worse because then you set yourself up to like possibly even return to someone this is more about you making that slow transition to let go cut it off be done or just block not respond not talk to someone just be over it. you don't owe anybody an explanation you don't owe this person an explanation let me just make that point blank clear whatever if someone's treating you like dirt you owe them nothing nothing and to even explain to a snake that they're hurting you the snake knows they're hurting you it's a snake you know what I mean? It's like that story of like, I don't know, it was like a, an alligator and a frog got on the alligator's back to give it a lift, to give it a ride across the river. And then the alligator bit the frog and the frog was like, why did, you, why did you bite me? I thought you were helping me out. Well, you knew I was an alligator, didn't you? So if you don't know this person's a snake and you have a sense about it, confirm it to yourself and then move on. Right, Virgo? Uh, new love, new blessings, new beautiful new beginnings happening here for you. So I'm going to leave that there for you. I hope you enjoyed that again if you want a personal reading. If you have are dealing with something like this, definitely book a reading with me. I'll be more than happy to help walk you through some type of uh, situation like this that you need help getting through. Um, yeah. All right, you guys. Have a fantastic week and I'll see you all back here very soon. Take care. Bye. Hey you guys, thank you so much for watching my readings. If you'd like to get a personal reading, please feel free to click the link in the description box below to go ahead and follow that link and book your reading. Please remember to book, subscribe, like, do all the great things. Um, and I hope that you guys have a fantastic, blessed, loving, and light-filled life. Thank you. Bye.